Okay, after uh, one of the previous missions I played, um, I managed to pick up a uh, Shadowhawk 2C, uh, medium Mac 55 tons. Um, but the 2C has plenty of hard points, as you can see here. You can pretty much add whatever you want. So I had four Clan LRM 20s. Um, actually, I had six, but I put four of them in here uh, at a cost of five tons a piece. That's only 20 tons. Um, I had to put a small engine in. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a double heat sink kit, so it has to be a single heat sink engine. But uh, if you notice up here, the heat efficiency for this is actually pretty good with two exchangers in there. Um, Alpha Strike's 55, heat sinking's 44, so it's pretty good. We've got two uh, TTS plus uh, missile systems in here, plus one and a plus two. Um, so it's plus three to hit. Dead fire ammo gives the, the damage a 50% bonus for all the missiles. So we're looking at an alpha strike of 480 for a 55 ton mech. And if you look at the armor, armor is almost maxed out across the board. Actually what I'm going to do, since this guy's really not going to be engaging close range, I'm just going to max out the arms here, which I probably should have done originally. But um, yeah, so we're just going to confirm this. It's going to take two days to uh, get this thing up and running. But once it does, we're going to drop to the planet and um, test this puppy out. I'll uh, give you a couple of uh, looks at what the Alpha Strikes look like for this thing. Um, so yeah, if you manage to ma if you manage to pick up a Shadowhawk 2C and some Clan LRMs, by all means, uh, feel free to build yourself one of these because I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. Okay, see you on the planet. Okay, I decided to take a uh, priority mission from the Lothian League here against the uh, Marion Hegemony. So. Um, it's an ambush convoy mission, really good salvage, 6 out of 22 salvage. But um, that being said, um, we've got a nice fat target up here, the uh, Shadowhawk 2 Kai here. So we're going to uh, move ready. our flatliner here into the, uh, well maybe not, I just want to see what kind of targeting we can get on this guy. Okay, so that's pretty good. So we're just going to move him around here. And now let's get our four LRM tunnies with de 20s with dead fire ammo on this guy. He fired, so he's not uh, braced or anything, but uh, I, I don't think he's expecting this. Somebody's not having a good day. Critical hit. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a uh, valid uh, platform. Why this guy's jumping, I have no idea, but... Uh, I guess he needs to get away. But anyway, the next uh, round that I get to fire, I'll come back. So the poor Shadowhawk that uh, tried to get away from us, for some reason, didn't move very far. Um, go back here. He landed in the uh, mineral field here, moved forward a couple squares. Uh, I'm not really sure why it was only a couple, but um, I think he's trying to get his stability back and stay uh, with the maximum amount of evasion. But um, as you can see, we did a fair amount of damage to him. Uh, I don't think he was full armor when he started up, but uh, we're about to uh, give him another bad day here. So yeah, there you go. Shadowhawk 2C with four LRM 20s. Definitely a good platform. So if uh, having that Shadowhawk 2C with four LRM 20s wasn't bad enough, I just managed to pick up a Griffin 4N off that last mission. So if we go to the refit here, I basically f repaired the whole thing already. It had a lot of stuff still left on it, which is awesome, because one of the things that it had on it was a double heat sink engine. That's the only thing I was really missing with the loadout on that uh, Shadowhawk 2C was a double heat sink engine to minimize the amount of heat output. But as you can see, I picked up a couple of SRM triple pluses as well with this. In the actual loot table, uh, since I got six pieces of loot, I actually picked up two of these as well. So now I've got five of these in total, including these two, sitting in... Actually, no, it'll be seven with these two sitting in my uh, um, storage bay here. So I am going to strip the gear off this guy. Confirm this. And for the sake of uh, saving money every month, I'm going to stick them in my uh, storage. I've already got a ton of mechs in there. Um, I usually only keep four out while I'm playing. Right. I'll get it. I wrapped up that job you asked for. Thanks, Darius. Okay, so we're just going to put this guy in storage. And we're going to go to our Shadowhawk 2C. And we're going to try a couple things here. 
first thing we're going to do is drop drop in that double heat sink to engine. So we'll pull out the 200 right now. Uh, confirm this. You have to pull the engine out to be able to drop the double heat sink kit in. Logged and job's done, Commander. Thank you. Refit. So we're going to drop in that 200 engine again, and then the double heat sink kit. We got to pull out the regular heat sinks here. Um, so space is going to be an interesting thing now. So we're going to go to equipment. Um, and engines, the 200. Uh, yeah, it was the 200 we had in. Um, mech's very slow with the 200, but still, that's fine. Um, and then we will throw in the double heat sink kit. So now our heat management is going to be uh, incredibly good. So we're not going to need all of these exchangers. We can probably take one out, because I need to put two double heat sinks in. Um, maybe we can take both out. I don't know. Got to find a way to put two double heat sinks in here now. So, hmm, I don't have clan double heat sinks, which is a pain. Um, we can put one in each arm, but as you can see, I'm missing slots here. Um, so, let's leave that out for a second. Let's change our core then from the 200 to. Um, so, that was giving us 10.5 tons. This is 12 tons. This guy is 13 tons. This is 16 tons. So let's try this one. I know our weight's over right now, but we'll figure that out in a second. And then we'll put in the double heat sink kit. We need to have one double heat sink in to make up for it. Pull out the exchanger. Put the double heat sink in there. Uh, and if we bring back our single exchanger, we have half a ton left over. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so our heat sinking is perfect. Maybe we don't even... Well, we'll leave the exchanger in. I was going to say we could take it out, but we can just leave that in. Um, and for the extra half a ton, you know, you can throw in half a ton of armor. Um, I mean, I don't think you really need it because you're not going to be closing with anybody with this thing. Um, the other thing, too, is you could just go to weapons and put in, um, you know, an ER small laser or a small laser. Um... This guy's uh, small double plus, 20 damage, 8 heat, 20 plus 25% range, or an ER small if you want. Doesn't really matter what you drop in. This one does a little more damage, a little more stability damage. But you can drop one of these guys in, and then if you need it as a backup weapon, um, then you've got it. Um, or you can put more armor. It's, up to, it's just up to whatever your play style is. So we're going to confirm this. Okay, I'm going to wait the three turns really quickly to get that up and running. And then I'm going to do an SRM build on it, just so we can see what it looks like. Let's go back to the mech bays. And Shadowhawk 2C. Okay, so our alpha strike with this guy is 480 with the dead fire ammo in. If the dead, fam if the dead fire ammo is out, um, then we're looking at about 320. So we're actually going to pull out um, let's take the exchanger out. I don't know if we'll need it. We probably will. Um, taking all this out. The double heat sink we have to leave in because of the engine. Uh, the heat bank we'll definitely leave in for now. At one ton, that's, uh, you know, it's always great to have this heat bank in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try an SRM build. So we're going to go down to our SRMs here now that I've got plenty of uh, SRM um, triple pluses here and we're gonna first load out like we did originally right now we got lots of lots of space left now these generate 14 heat each so that's 28 um, 56 so we're still under our heat maximum right now our heat maximum is 65 um, so we're gonna just keep loading them in so I'm gonna put another one on each arm don't forget, we're going to need ammo, and then I'll put one in another torso here. Um, so we've got plenty of tonnage left. Our heat efficiency right now, 98 heat. So we're going to grab our exchanger, drop that back in. We're going to need ammo. 
probably going to need about a ton, about two tons of ammo per two SRMs, per three SRMs. So it's 18, two tons of ammo is 10, 11 turns of firing. So we need two per three. So we need two, um, four, so about five tons of ammo, which isn't a lot, which is great. Um, and one of those tons we're going to use as Artemis ammo. So two, four, five tons. Um, SRM. One, two, three, four, and Artemis ammo, five tons of ammo. Um, that should give us plenty of firepower. Um, plenty of turns to, uh, to fire with. Um, especially with this build, I mean, it's crazy, right? Like, Max damage 84, yeah, it's far from 84. So it's 72 damage per SRM times 7 is, let's see, 7 times 7 is 49, and times 2, so 504 damage, if my math is correct, uh, for SRMs. Now the range is roughly the same as the LRMs with the dead fire ammo. The LRMs with the dead fire ammo is 480. Uh, alpha Strike. So this is a little better Alpha Strike wise. We can drop our SRM back in or our small laser back in and then we're going to need a little bit more heat dissipation. So if we go back into our equipment we have another uh, exchanger sitting in here for two tons. Um, let's go over here. We've got a uh, double exchanger. Oh, we don't, oh, we're out of space here. So the SRM, so the, sorry the uh, that's got to come out. Small laser. Um, why won't this go in? Oh, there's no room in that. Stir. Um, so the small can go back in. So minus eight off of the alpha strike because we're not going to be using the small laser all the time. So minus eight gives us 73 alpha strike and 74 heat. Um, the range is very, very short compared to our other uh, one. Maximum range 330. I think our other one was a little little higher, but if if you want to build an SRM crazy damage build, Shadowhawk 2C is the way to go. Although you definitely will need a few things. You'll need an XL gyro um, for sure. The uh, Clan Endosteel and Ferrofibrous. Um, you'll definitely need the Clan XL engine and a double heat sink engine for sure. Um, you don't necessarily need the missile accuracy. Um, targeting computers, but if you're going to run this many SRMs, you might as well throw them in. So we'll have two, three, plus four accuracy with all of these SRMs. The damage is, is 504, which Alpha Strike wise is bigger than the damage on the LRM-20s. Um, and you're firing less missiles, so it's 12 damage per missile. Um, so yeah, you can uh, install a dead fire ammo on this if you want to. So if we go back to weapons, um, rather than running the targeting ammo, if we go to a missile systems and our SRM dead fire, it's plus 50% uh, SRM damage, um, which I believe is applied after the actual triple plus damage. So it'll be 18 damage per missile. So you're increasing your damage by what 50% overall. So rather than 504, you'll have 756. Alpha Strike, roughly, um, but you're minus 30% to your range and minus 2 accuracy. So you're losing the the um, the uh, accuracy from the SRM accuracy ammo, um, and so you you're already minus one there. But then you know your targeting system will will um, your TTS plus two will negate that, and then you'll have a plus one to hit with the missiles. So you'll have a lot less chance to hit, but the damage will be insane. Plus the stability damage, Del, if you figure these, each one of these missiles is doing four stability damage, right? And you've got, what, six, 12, 24, 30, 42 missiles times um, uh, four stability each. Um, and then if you if you multiply that by 50%, it would be six stability each. So 42 times six is you know 252 stability damage. So this is pretty much guaranteed knockdown every single time you fire. I mean you're obviously not going to hit with everything, but even if you hit with half, it's still a really bad day for whoever you're shooting against. Um, 
Anyway, so that's it. Uh, actually, what I'll do is <laughs> I probably should test this out so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to take out the accuracy and I'm going to throw in the dead fire because it's always more fun to do ridiculous amounts of damage. I'm just going to confirm this. I'll wait the 16 days because i got lots of money right now. I sold a bunch of the, the uh, stuff I had in storage. Um, I had a bunch of just regular XL engines and, and other parts that I just got rid of. Okay, so once I get this uh, up and running, we're going to go back and we're going to pull off another mission and uh, we'll see how much damage it does. I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are on the ground. It's our first opportunity to start using the uh, SRM boat here. Um, this should be really fun. 480 rounds. Um, this uh, Centurion just tried to punch my hunchback. Missed. So we're just going to move forward. 51% um, chance if we sprint up here. Um, if we go in the woods, it's going to be harder to hit. Here, it's still roughly the same as if we, as if we walk up. Yeah, but we're going to sprint, get a few more evasion, and we're going to come up into here. Got to watch my uh, left flank. We've got re reinforcements coming in. And we're going to unload with everything on this guy. Um, the heat, eh, it's gone up a little bit, not really that worried, but um, this is a warm environment actually, so um, our heat sinking is only 85% of normal. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with how the heat is on this planet. But let's see what kind of damage we do to this guy. So yeah, enjoy the dead fire damage attacks because uh, that's just insane. Receiving you. Um, I'll come back when we get, this is guys a 75 tonner. There's another 75 tonner over here. There's a 70, 60, 65, 75. So once we get these heavy guys down, I'll come back and I'll show you what it's like to, to attack those guys. Okay, we're back. After dealing with a couple vehicles here, these four guys are still coming in, but they're doing a lot of sensor locking on us. But um, I've managed to de destabilize this Black Knight. Um, so he's taking a lot of damage on the one side here, but I'm going to come around to the other side um, I'm here. if I can with Flatliner. Actually, you know what? I don't know what our two hits going to be over there. It's going to be pretty low, I think. So actually, we're just going to move forward, and we're going to hit this guy straight on. Once again, so we just want to see what kind of numbers we can get. Now, he's not moving, so we've got a really great chance to hit here. So we'll get a good idea of what it's going to be like to unload with a full load of SRMs on this guy. So 19 damage per. I've got a skilled pilot, that's why, right? But you can see all those 19s going by. It's crazy, right? All right, so here's another look at a point blank attack against this uh, catapult that's actually standing in uh, a forest. So he'll be taking 25% less damage. He is unstable again. Um, so let's just see what this this will do to him. So 14 damage per missile. Once again, 42 missiles. Like, there really isn't much any, anybody can do against this. Obviously, multiplayer is a little different. You can just stay out of his range, but AI is not smart enough for that, so... And once again, we're just going to fire on this armor-reduced uh, dragon here. Um, he hasn't been hit yet in this battle, but he started off with 75% uh, of his armor. Um, he's in the woods, so he's going to take a little less damage. He just tried to melee one of my guys, but uh, we're going to unload on him and see how we do here. Once again, 14 damage because he's in the woods. So, okay, good. yeah, definitely a viable uh, platform. Anyway, so that's the Shadowhawk 2C loadout with missiles. Um, you can obviously trick this out a very variety of ways. You can go with lasers, you can go with double PPCs and PPC capacitors, um, and lots of heat management. Uh, add a larger engine, use it as a quick strike from the rear, um, or just keep them at long range with ER PPCs and a PPC capacitor and just blast people with them. I think this pro this mech, the Shadowhawk, um, that last battle that he was in, we faced uh, five heavy mechs, two heavy vehicles, and a medium mech and he came out with no damage other than just armor damage. So I think if you play him well, the damage output on this is you know, really significant. Um, 
as far as taking down other mechs. Um, even mechs that are you know heavier assault class would um, be taking significant damage from this guy. The benefit, I think, uh, if you really want to max him out, um, there's a couple things you can do to keep him sort of fresh and higher levels. Um, you can pull out the ferrofibrous armor and put in stealth armor uh, to give you an extra evasion um, chevron. Uh, that can help out. Um, there's also the armor with bulwark and extra evasion. Um, so that could also help out uh, if you're using the LRM platform. He can bulwark somewhere and then just open up on enemies. Um, the other things would be, right now I've got a, a cockpit with uh, the breacher on it with plus one um, accuracy, which really helps with the missiles. But later on, when the mechs are moving a lot slower, it's going to be a lot easier to hit them. Um, so you can go with something like uh, the cockpit EI clan, minus 10 wet damage taken, which is good, and plus 5% weapon damage. So if you hit with the SRMs when somebody's in the open after they fired, you'll be probably doing around 20 damage or so. Um, actually having pilots that have the, um, if we quickly go to our pilots here. So having pilots here with um, ace pilot, so you can move after shooting. If you're taking on heavies and assaults with this 55 tonner, um, which you certainly can, um, this ace pilot is actually a good skill to have because you can move in and fire at them. You'll take one round of hit, hits back at you. You can fire again and then move back out under cover, back under like out of their way behind a hill, hide. So you're only um, having yourself revealed in combat once every two turns. It's going to be really handy for mitigating how much damage you take over time. Um, also, having like plus three max evasion is a huge deal. Um, having your evasion up at seven and constantly moving will definitely help out you not being hit by heavier mechs. So this platform is relatively viable and it's great if you want to actually um, go after heavier mechs if you're not really confident with your playstyle. If you get one of these guys, it really will help you out. Um, the other thing too is if you want to max out your damage, right now uh, the mech is being piloted with Flatliner. So the passive warlord skill grants plus 10 percent damage now i know in future versions of rogue tech this has been changed uh to a skill i think you can use once every four turns or something but even still once you get into um close range or attack a heavy mech from behind and use warlord you're just gonna just smash them with damage uh, especially with the s the srm platform it's gonna rip them apart so yeah that's um the Shadowhawk 2C. If you want to see me put together a few laser builds, i um, more than happy to do that. Um, or a PPC build or something like that, just so you can see how you can lay it out. It's kind of difficult unless you actually get a, a, a um, Shadowhawk 2C or a Griffin 2C or whatever. If you haven't gotten one yet, uh, it's kind of difficult to see what they can actually do. Um, if I go to the base here once again real quick, I believe the Shadowhawk 2C um, has improved shooting, so it's um, it's um, the targeting is a lot better. So you know, once again, I'm not sure if that if improved shooting is only for uh, lasers or if it actually. I think it actually works with missiles as well because I think this guy comes with a bunch of missiles on him. But anyway, so yeah, definitely a good mech to have if you can actually get one. And um, I'll leave it there. So. Leave a comment if you like it, um, and if you want me to see, me, if you want to see me put this guy into different builds, um, just leave a message what you want me to, to build, and I can actually build something with him so you can see how it works. All right, until then, I'll see you later.